Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by the general formula for a homologous series. You should then be able to determine the general formula for a given homologous series. In a previous video we looked at the idea of a homologous series. Remember that a homologous series of organic molecules have the same functional group but each successive member has an additional CH2. I'm showing you the first three members of the alkane homologous series here. Remember that even though the alkanes do not have a functional group, we still count them as a homologous series. OK, now if you look at each alkane, we can see that the number of hydrogen atoms is two times the number of carbon atoms plus two more. For example, in the case of methane, we've got one carbon atom. To calculate the number of hydrogen atoms, we first multiply one by two, and then we add two. So this means that methane has four hydrogen atoms, and we can see them here. Looking at ethane, we have two carbon atoms. To calculate the number of hydrogen atoms, we first multiply two by two, and then we add two. This means that ethane has six hydrogen atoms, and here they are. Now the general formula is the simplest algebraic formula for a member of a homologous series. And the word algebraic means that we use letters to represent numbers. In chemistry, we use lowercase n to represent a given number. Now going back to the alkanes, if the number of carbon atoms is n, then the number of hydrogen atoms is n multiplied by 2 plus 2 more. So the general formula for the alkanes is Cn H2n plus 2. If we know the number of carbon atoms, then we can use the general formula to work out the molecular formula for any alkane. Let's consider an alkane with 12 carbon atoms. To work out the number of hydrogen atoms, we multiply 12 by 2 and then we add 2. 12 multiplied by 2 gives us 24. 24 plus 2 gives us 26 hydrogen atoms. So the molecular formula of this compound is C12H26. OK, I'm showing you here the first three members of the alkene homologous series. In the case of the alkenes, the number of hydrogen atoms is twice the number of carbon atoms. So in this case, the general formula is CnH2n. I'm showing you here the first three members of the chloroalkane homologous series. I'd like you to work out the general formula for the chloroalkanes, so pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, each molecule has two hydrogen atoms for every carbon atom, and we can see those here. We also have one extra hydrogen at the end of the molecule, and each molecule also contains one atom of chlorine. So the general formula for the chloroalkanes is Cn H2n plus 1 Cl. Here are the first three members of the alcohol homologous series. Again, I'd like you to work out the general formula, so pause the video and try this yourself. OK, again, each molecule has two hydrogen atoms for every carbon atom, plus one extra hydrogen at the end of the molecule. Each molecule also has one alcohol group, which is OH. So the general formula is Cn H2n plus 1 OH. Now you'll notice that in this example we could have written Cn H2n plus 2. O. However, you need to show the functional group in the general formula. So Cn H2n plus 1 OH is the correct general formula for the alcohols. OK, so hopefully now you can work out the general formula for an organic compound. 